Generation 8. Lots of British Pokemon with plenty of awesome names. We already covered the name origins of these Pokemon in English, but what are their names in Japanese? What are the root words? What are the name's origins? What's the etymology? Let's find out right now. Also, as always, I've brought along Mika, a native Japanese speaker to help me pronounce these names, as in she's going to do it, because I'm not gonna bother trying. So let's get going. Saru nori. Monkey and excited rhythm. Also, nori, pronounced the same, is seaweed, which is a plant. Grass type. Bachinki. Whack and English capuchin monkey. Goriranda. English gorilla and battering. Hibani. Fire Spark Bunny. Rabi Futto. Rabbit Foot. Mm. Ace Burn. Ace Burn Bunny. Messon. Sobbing Chameleon. Jimereon. Damp and Humid Chameleon. Intereon. Same as the English name from Intelligence and Chameleon. Hoshigaris. A squirrel full of desire. Yokubaris. Greedy squirrel. Kokogara. Child, willow tit, crow or raven. Aogarasu. Blue, blue tit, crow or raven. Amaga. English armor, and then the Japanese onomatopoeia for squawking and crow or raven. Sachimushi. A bug that senses, and English, search. Redomushi. Radome, ladybug. Iorubu. Moon, and English, orb and orbit. Kusune. Fox and to pilfer, which is to steal something of little value. Fuokusurai. From English, fox and sly. Himenka. Petite raw cotton flower. Watashiraga. White hair cotton. Uru. Basically English, wool and loom. Baiuru. Twice, as in times two, and English, wool. It's literally the same pun in English. Kamukame. Bite turtle. Kajirigame. To bite into turtle. Wanpachi. The onomatopoeia for barking and the onomatopoeia of crackling, as in the crackle of electricity. Parusuan. Pulse barking. Tandon. Coal bang, or the sound of stomping. Torokon. Mine cart, and English wagon. Also, there's this kanji. Similarly, it can be pronounced as gone, and it means jaw or mouth, and this thing does have a freakishly large one. Gone is also fairly common as the ending sound of names relating to monsters, like how we put dawn at the end of many things to make them sound like a dinosaur. So this is essentially a minecart monster. Sekitanzan. Coal mountain coal mine. Kajitchu. A bug that gnaws on fruit. Appuryu. English apple, Japanese dragon. Tarupuru. From English tart and apple, and Japanese for sluggish and plenty, full or ample. Tsunabi. Literally, meaning it's just these two words next to each other. Sand snake. I love how incredibly plain this name is, as in I don't. Sadaija. Literally, sand serpent. Uku. This has to be my favorite name. So it's the Japanese word for cormorant, which is the bird that it is, and the onomatopoeia for choking, especially when you're choking because you tried swallowing something too big. It's amazing. Sashikamasu. Pricking barracuda. Kamasu jo. Barracuda and English jaw. Though, jo can also mean a streak or a line, like how torpedoes go straight really fast, streaking by. Erezu. From English, electric and poison. Storinda. From English, strings and salamander. Yakude. Burning millipede or centipede. Maru yakude. Completely burnt up millipede or centipede. Tatako. English attack between Japanese to strike and octopus. Otosupasu. English octopus mixed with the Japanese verb for taking someone down, like grappling them to the ground. Yabacha. Dangerous, terrible tea. Potto desu. Here's another great one. At first glance, it's literally the English words pot and death next to each other. But when spoken in Japanese, it sounds like a short sentence that can be translated as It's a teapot, which basically sums up everyone's reaction when this Pokemon got revealed. It's a teapot. 
リブリム。ジェスチャー or motion and English brim as in the brim of a hat。テブリム。A hand gesture and English brim。ブリムオン。Silence and English brim。Also possibly English moon as it's a witch Pokemon and they have loads to do with the moon。ベロバー。Ooh, another awesome name here. Tongue, which when repeated is the sound of licking. And ベロベロバー is the Japanese equivalent of peekaboo, as it plays pranks and tricks on people. It's so good. ギモ。Deception, hair demon. Demon being from English. オーロンゲ。Long hair, English ogre. タチフサグマ。To obstruct and raccoon. ニャイキング。Meow, Viking! Sunny Go! Ooh, here's another really good one. So, Sunny Go is the name of Corsola, which of course comes from coral and sunny, as it absorbs sunlight, among other things. And this name sounds super similar, but if you added the English word gone, because it's gone, it's dead. It's so good, but it's also written a bit differently, so that it still includes coral without the sunlight pun. Because it's dead, it no longer absorbs sunlight. So while sounding the same, they just, it, it, it uses different roots to not have the pun anymore, and that makes it better. It's so good! It also might include Gorgon, mythical creatures from Greek mythology which could turn people into stone, as Cursula's Pokedex entry states that it can sort of do. It's all so good! Negiganaito. And let's follow that name up with another amazing one English Giga, meaning big, and Night, and then Japanese for spring onion. But when read, it's also a sentence which means it must have a spring onion. Barikoru. And then we get this name Freezing Barrier. Desuban. Slab, and English Death. Mahomiru. Magic, and English Milk. Mahoipu. Magical whipped cream. Tairetsu. Literally, a rank or formation of troops. Bachin uni. The sound of crackling electricity and sea urchin. Yukihami. Literally, snow eating. Mosunou. From the English words moth and snow. Ishinjin. Stone and weird man, which, when combined like this, sound similar to the English word Stonehenge. Kōrippo. Ice cube. Yes, san. From the English phrase, yes, sir, which is common for maids and butlers to say to their master. And also the Japanese honorific title, san. Morupeko. Hungry guinea pig. Zoudou. Another awesome name. So here we have elephant and copper, but copper sounds the same as child. And also, if you say these syllables backwards, it means bronze image. Wow. Daioudo. Great king, kingship, copper, and brass. Pachiragon. The sound of electricity crackling, and English dragon. Pachirudon. The sound of electricity crackling, and English chill. And dawn. A common suffix for dinosaurs. Uonoragon. Fish and English dragon. Uochirudon. Fish and English chill dinosaur. Juraludon. From Duralumin, a lightweight metal, dragon and dinosaur. Dorameshia. From English dragon, mixed with a common Japanese ghost saying. Urameshia, which I'm probably mispronouncing. It's a thing that Japanese ghosts are commonly depicted as saying or even chanting. It basically means they have regrets or are resentful, hence, them being ghosts, unable to pass on into the afterlife. Doronchi. From English dragon and launch. Doraparuto. From English dragon and catapult, as in aircraft carrier catapults. Zashiyan. Zamazenta. As confirmed in an interview, these names come from the English words the cyan and the magenta. As all of the people in the Pokemon world could see of these were their colors streaking by. You know, how legends are actually formed and all that. Mugen Dyna. Infinity Dynamax. And English Dynamic. Now then, since we originally recorded this, some more Pokemon have been announced. And Mika is busy, so I get to pronounce these next ones. Dakuma. From hit, bear, and the cultivation of skill, as in basic training. 
Uraso, which is a Japanese battle cry and interjection used in Japanese martial arts, mixed with Wushu, which is Chinese for martial arts, and also the Chinese word for teacher. Badoreksu, from English bud, as in a flower bud, and rex, which is Latin for king. Zorud, from saru, meaning monkey, and English rude. And there we go, after my attempts at pronunciation, uh, there were all of the Gen 8 Pokemon so far. I hope you learned something today. I know I sure did. Japanese is a fascinating language. I love learning how it works. It's just so different. Now then, you can click here to check out some of the other generations of Pokemon names in Japanese. And I'm sure that you'll find that the further back you go, the worse and worse they get. Thanks for watching, and until next time, you never stop using your noggin.